Hello, and today we are going to be doing our 2021 Severe Weather Outlook. And the Severe Weather Season is from March 1st to July 1st. But before I get into this uh, forecast, make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video. And why not throw a comment down below? First thing we are going to be looking at is the 2021 severe weather season outlook compared to normal. In the west, like Washington through Montana, down through Colorado, Utah, Nevada, then out to California, Oregon, and Washington again, uh, that area could expect average. Uh, then in uh, uh, portions of the Southwest, you are expecting Western Texas, some of California, Utah, Colorado, to see slightly below average severe weather. Then in the central, like Louisiana, Texas, up through all the way up to North Dakota, slightly above average, so maybe one or two more tornadoes than average, a few more hail, uh, flooding events, and we could also be seeing some more uh, heavy wind events. Then in the moderately above average region, in much of the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and much of the Northeast, you can expect uh, there to be a couple more tornadoes than average, uh, some more flooding, uh, hail, and you can also expect some more damaging winds than usual. Then uh, in the much above average region in the Tennessee Valley, uh, you can expect much, much more above average in a lot of, in all the types of severe weather. Then in the southeast, you can expect moderately above average. And then in North Carolina, uh, in South Florida, and Northeast average. In the Northeast, it will be a very split story, you could say. Because if you were in Pennsylvania, Maryland, New York City, um, New Jersey, you can expect moderately above average uh, severe weather and even some of uh, um, upstate New York. But then if you're in another part of upstate New York, Maine, New Hampshire, that area, Vermont, uh, average. Now we are going to look in uh, when you can expect your first severe thunderstorm warning to happen. And in this peak region, it already happened. In this pink region, it either already happened or will happen later this month, probably. Then in this red region, uh, in anywhere from New Mexico out to New Jersey, New York City, Ohio, uh, Columbus, Ohio, uh, Indianapolis, many areas could expect it in March. If you were in this yellow region in parts of Colorado, through Iowa and Michigan, Northern Ohio, and New York. You can expect it possibly in April, your first severe thunderstorm warning. Now that does not mean you will not see a thunderstorm in March. Then in this uh, green region in Maine, through Wisconsin, Nebraska, Utah, Arizona, in May, and then the areas that are not highlighted, early June or later. Now we are going to be talking about your moisture. Um, we are going to be looking in this light green region in areas like Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, all the way up through Minnesota, then in Wisconsin, Michigan, New York, many, many areas are going to expect it to be humid. Then very humid in areas like Columbus, Ohio, through the Tennessee Valley, Mississippi, uh, and then in uh, New York City through North Carolina and some of, and some of Florida and Georgia. Uh, and then other parts of Georgia and Southeast are uh, humid. And then in Mississippi through Georgia, uh, Alabama muggy, which is where we're seeing the highest risk. Uh, moisture can help in building more, uh, more energy for the thunderstorms to, uh, to take in and energize. So it will make those things more interesting. Next thing we're going to look at is the weather setup we have. We have cold, dry air in the upper layers of the atmosphere trying to get in from uh, Alaska and Canada. And then we have warm, humid air trying to come in from the Gulf of Mexico. 
and the warm air will be in the lower levels of, uh, of the atmosphere, while the cold, dry air will be trying to get in from the upper layers, which will cause instability, therefore severe thunderstorms. This instability can really make those thunderstorms more strong with lightning and hail, and even tornadoes. So that pink uh, is the area that we have to focus on the most. So it's from Arkansas through Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, through the Carolinas, then in Tennessee, Missouri, Kentucky, West Virginia, even uh, extreme southern Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois. That's the main focus area. Then in the central U.S., like Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, or Nebraska, is going to be the area where we're going to see the pressure systems and cold fronts develop. We are also going to see a La Nina pattern this uh, interfering this spring, which is going to cause it to be a little bit more wet in the uh, north rather than the south. And the El, in El Nino would do it the other way around. And uh, we are looking at also the possibility for this Arctic blast to interfere with the severe weather season. What we're gonna see is basically uh, there's going to be the Arctic blast still over in Canada, uh, and then we have maybe some pressure systems in the south that could block the uh, warm, humid air from trying to get in to the United States. And uh, this is going to cause there a slightly late start, and uh, although it is going to get extremely active, uh, and we're looking at the La Nina chances and a lot of similarities to 2011, that year where uh, there was a lot of severe weather. We are still going to see it active. Uh, think about how 2011 actually didn't really have much in the way of severe weather for the Midwest until April. And everybody was wondering, is it going to be a below uh, normal year? Uh, and no, it actually ended up getting extremely active in April, late late March through April. That We are expecting that to happen this year. I'm not saying that it's going to be exactly like 2011, and I do not think so, but we are seeing some similarities. And it is going to get really active uh, in late March and April. That's when the tornadoes are just going to uh, all of a sudden start firing. And that is because the conditions are going to start getting together then. Bye, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video. And why not throw a comment down below?